Hey guys, it's me, Brennan from BKM Picture Productions, and today we are in the snow. Well, obviously. Right? Right? I mean, we are in the snow. Well, yes and no. There is snow around me, but is it actually snowing? The answer is no. So, how did I just turn the snow off? Magic. No, but seriously, how can I control it? Well, let's jump over to the computing device known as the computer and find out. Alright guys, so we are now here inside of Adobe After Effects. So, to start off with, we are going to take our clip and drag it down here onto our composition. Okay, so let me just find a good point to start it at, like, there. Okay, so first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create the snow. So let's go into Layer, New, Solid, and let's call this Main Snow. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over into Effects and Presets, and we're going to type in Snow. And one of the results you'll see is CC Snowfall. So we're going to take this, and we're going to drag it onto our solid. Now, you might or might not be able to see, but there is some snow there. Um, let's set the mode to screen, which basically means that it'll get rid of all black. Okay, so you can see some of the snow here. If I turn it on and off, you can see it's adding some. I mean, obviously, it's not that dramatic, but uh, we're going to work with that. So, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn the opacity up all the way. And we're going to go down here into background, illumination, and we're going to change the influence, and we're going to bring it down until the snow starts becoming kind of obvious. So I'd say about like 45 is good. So now if we turn it on and off, you can see that that makes uh, like a really big difference. Next thing that we're going to do is, because this is kind of around where I am, we're going to bring up the amount of flakes a little and bring up the size just a fuzz and also we're going to set the speed to about 300 this will give it a more natural uh a more natural fall okay so that's looking pretty good now something that i'm going to do is i'm is uh i'm going to rename this bottom layer of me and i'm just going to call this background plate so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give this shot a little more depth. So we're going to duplicate the background plate by clicking uh, Control D. And we're going to bring this new layer above the snow. And let's rename this me. So now what I'm going to do is by taking the pen tool up here, I'm just going to kind of draw a very crude shape around me. Doesn't have doesn't have to be like great or anything. Just nice little nice little shape okay so now as you can see the snow is falling everywhere except me now this has kind of a harsh edge as you can see so we're gonna click F which will bring up the mask feather which basically is like the softness of the mask and we're gonna turn this up to say about 40 so now if we just solo this layer you can see that it's kind of a, has a softer edge. See before, after. Actually, we can probably even bring it up to like 50. Yeah, that looks good. And because I will move around a little and we don't want to have to like keyframe each individual frame, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click M twice and that will bring up all the mask properties. So mask expansion basically it like adjusts the uh, the scale of the mask. So let's bring this up to about 10, maybe 15. That looks nice. So we have a nice edge, a little uh, elbow room for me to move around in. Yeah, looks nice. 
So if we turn this off, you can see that the snow is falling everywhere except me, and that looks good. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the main snow, we're going to duplicate that, and let's call this foreground snow. We're going to take this and drag it on top of me. Next, we are going to increase the size a lot because this is the snow that's, well, obviously in the foreground. So let's bring it up to about, say, 11. And then the amount of flakes down to about 5,000. If we solo the layer, you can see how many are there. I'd bring it down even more, maybe to about like 1,000. Yeah, it looks good. So next, we are going to go into effects and presets and choose fast blur. So let's take the fast blur and drag it on top of the foreground snow and let's set the blurriness to about 6. So what that's going to do is it's going to basically make it seem like these flakes are out of focus closer into um, the foreground. So as you can see before it's falling right there and then after it just gives it a nice, a really nice depth. So again, I'm going to duplicate this and bring it just under, and I'm going to call this um, mid foreground snow. Okay. So I'm going to decrease the size a bit on these. I'm going to increase the amount of flakes by just a fuzz, and then I'm going to set the blurriness down to about three. Oh, something I forgot. Um, in the foreground snow, we're going to set the speed to about 450, which basically means that because it's in the foreground, it'll be falling faster than the ones in the background. And then the mid-foreground snow, we'll set the speed to about 400, we'll say. And actually, we can probably bring the size down even a little more. That looks good. And maybe the amount of flakes down a little more too, like 2,000. That looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the main snow. I'm going to duplicate that again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it background snow. So by taking the background snow, dragging it behind main snow, I'm going to decrease the size even more and increase the amount. So if we look at that, you can see this is our main snow, this is our background snow. Then what I'm going to do with that is, again, we're going to add the fast blur, and we'll set this to maybe about two. So that's like out of focus in the background, actually about one. Okay. So now that we have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-compose it. So by going up here into layer, pre-compose. You want to make sure that you set move all attributes into the new composition. So by clicking that, okay, now we need to set this back to screen so it gets rid of the black. And then what we're going to do is, taking the pen tool up here, we're going to basically mask around the edge of the forest. And go up here. So basically what this is going to do is, it's going to just make it snow everywhere except like the ground area so it's just snowing back there in the woods uh, we can probably adjust the feather a little just to give it more of a real look we'll say like 60 and you can see that that kind of gives it a nice rim actually probably bring it up a little more like 100 or something like that so there we go you can see before all the snow uh, right there, and then after the snow. So next what we're going to do is we're going to color grade it. So by taking all of this and pre-composing it, we're going to add some color correction on top of this. So now that we have our footage laid out, um, I already made an effect in preset, and I called this snowy correction. So by taking this and dragging it on top of our footage, there we go. It gives it 
a nice uh, a nice look. Actually, something that, something else that we can do is by taking the main snow, we can add a fast blur to that, and let's set the blurriness to about like 0.5, just so it doesn't look too too harsh when we add this extra uh, extra sharpening. It's me, Brendan from Bcam Picture Productions, and today we're going to be talking about what gear I use, both for stop motion and for live action. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and your eyeballs consume the image of my face on your computer, mobile device, or television next time. This is Brandon KM, signing off.